to me, having my confidence challenged is it's like been an everyday process my entire career. When you're judged by ratings every morning, of course you're, you're, <laughs> your confidence is challenged. You were confident you made a great show and the audience didn't watch it or you were semi-confident it'd go well and they did watch it. So I, I, I come from a, a sector where having your confidence and your ability challenged is a daily, daily grind and it does harden you to it, you know. Um, but it also makes you learn that these it's what the audience, what the people are telling you, and you can't deny it. You can say, but it was a great show, just that no one knew to watch it. You can make all the excuses in the world, but they didn't watch it. So having your confidence challenged has been a, um, it, it, it's been an everyday thing for me for a long time. And um, your confidence can be challenged on one episode of a TV show, it can be challenged on a series, then it really hurts when the whole series fails, it really hurts. But you've just got to believe that, you know, I look back on your, I look back at my past successes and go, you know, I was right then and I can be right again now. Um, and, and I feel the majority of my decisions have been right. I mean, my kids challenge my confidence all the time because they continually tell me that I'm not the world's best mother, which is... But I, I've had a lot more confidence crises as a mother than I ever had as a businesswoman. It's really tough. You don't know how to bring up kids when they misbehave. You know, you don't... I, I, once, I remember we were on holiday in Tasmania, my daughter was being particularly naughty, and I bought this book called Princess Bitchface. And Princess Bitchface said, uh, how to, you know, when you've got teens who are misbehaving, don't engage in an argument. Well, not engaging in the argument turned out to be the worst thing ever because she just got madder and madder at me. So, so I've had my crisis of confidence have been around my ability to be a good mother at the same time as trying to run my businesses because... My children both believe I wasn't there enough um, when they were growing up. Um, I spent a lot of time working in the States, and even though I would come home for weekends, I literally was commuting. Um, and in their eyes, um, you know, they, were, they didn't see enough of me as they were growing up. So that has been the hardest thing for me to handle um, with my own self-confidence um, in, in what sort of mother I was. I mean, I think I was a good mother. I shouldn't say that I wasn't a good mother, but... Uh, the balance was very, very difficult at times, and I and I don't think I always got it right. Uh, I think that I was it was probably fifty fifty. Certainly, my children don't think I do, but I think they've forgiven me now. We're pretty good now. <laughs> Confidence is a really big thing. It's actually something I think about a lot, and I hope actually I Google it. Um, and if someone writes a, an article on it, you know that's one. Of, that's probably the thing I'm most interested in because I think it makes the biggest difference to enjoying life, doing, you know, doing well in business, but just, just doing well in life. Um, uh, we're not really set up for having, especially probably, I think the next generation below me seems to have a lot more confidence. Um, it was just not something that was sort of built into us. It was almost taken out of us. Um, so it's something that I see is the most important thing for my staff, and I tr have tried to foster that in them. Um, but in myself, I, it's, it's a real challenge for me. Um, I remember someone saying to me, oh Megan, you must feel really confident now um, with the business doing well. I was like, no, that's not real confidence. That's fake confidence. That's not true deep confidence. Deep confidence, it wouldn't matter what I had, I would feel a sense of, sense of real confidence. Um, so it's been a real challenge for me. I doubt myself all the time. Nothing's ever good enough. Um, and but it's something I'm working on and I know is probably one of the most important things for me in my life and I, I really look forward to getting older because you see that in women as they get older there's the sense of confidence comes in but it's how do we get that into younger people and how do I get that into myself as soon as possible <laughs>